Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, whoo, <laughs> this video, <sighs> fragrances that I had to break up with. We were not working out. Things just didn't pan out for us. And they had to go. They had to get decluttered. So if you guys are interested in seeing what fragrances I've decluttered and why, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back on to another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. And give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos from moi. Now let's get into it because I know I'm gonna ruffle some feathers, but I love you guys and I know y'all love me. So let's get to it. <laughs> so this first fragrance, I'm actually over the house at this point. There are only a couple of fragrances from this house that I'm probably gonna keep. This fragrance in particular, I had to get rid of like as soon as I got it because I blind bought it. Don't blind buy, please sample before you buy unless you're a risk taker like me. It was an expensive blind buy, but I did get my money back. So that's all that matters. And I'm talking about Rose Pro from Tom Ford. It didn't work out for me. I feel personally that Tom Ford fragrances in general just really aren't my vibe. I feel like there are so many other fragrance houses that are just worth my time, worth my money, worth my energy, and Tom Ford is actually not that. So Rose Prick in particular though, I really don't like the fragrance. It's probably one of the worst fragrances that I've smelled from the house. And if you love Rose Prick, I'm sorry. Like, you know, do you baby. I support you 100%. But for me personally, it was just too powdery. It was just too mature for me. And I love a good Rose fragrance. And that's why I was like, okay, Rose Prick, like, you know, whatever. And I love the naughty name behind it. But at the end of the day, it just it just didn't work for me so I went ahead and took it on back to Sephora baby for me personally I find just those types of fragrance those styles of fragrances just a little too mature for me right now I don't know if I'll maybe one day like those types of scents but I just really didn't enjoy how powdery it was and just how floral it was I did like the dry down and how it got a little woodier you know a little bit more earthy but mm -mm, I can't do too much like too much of a powdery like fresh musky type of scent I can do powdery in more of like a gourmand way or something like tonka beans you know something in that direction but when it goes like powdery in a musky way with florals it just gives me a very mature vibe that I'm not ready for <laughs> not right now at least <laughs> next we have Jasmine Rouge so we're on the Tom Ford train i absolutely hated jasmine rouge because for me it kind of gave me like endolic vibes and if you guys don't know that term it's like they can come off really animalic very much so like i'm gonna just keep it a book it, it smelled like bad breath like someone had halitosis and i don't know if you've ever smelled someone with halitosis or extremely bad breath but it doesn't smell good and i don't want my body smelling like that so i know for some people it's like a staple for them it smells incredible they get that nice white floral you know just ambiance but on me it really screamed just bad breath and i don't want people thinking my breath stinks because of the fragrance that i'm wearing it just didn't work out i love the bottle i love how the bottle looked and the concept of it was nice but just how how heady that jasmine was i did not like it at all i did not like it at all and i'm finally like recovering from the damage it did to my mind because after trying jasmine rouge because i thought i loved jasmine fragrances but after trying jasmine rouge i thought maybe jasmine wasn't for me but i've noticed that i love jasmine in different ways i don't like straight up heady you know indolic jasmines and some people do because it can smell very sexy and sensual on them but not for me so it's a no for me with Jasmine Rouge. And again, if this fragrance is your staple, listen, baby, do you. But for me, it just did not work out. I think it's just my body chemistry. It just didn't like my skin. <laughs> Next, we have another one that's pretty popular. Actually, over the last couple of years, I haven't heard many people talk about this fragrance, but Mon Guerlain. Mon Guerlain. I wanted to love this fragrance so bad because not only were my fragrance friends really into it, but just people in the fragrance community just love this fragrance. And it's like a lavender vanilla scent. I I tried I tried I just gave up on it I really gave up on it because it was too vanillic and then too aromatic at the same time the lavender was very very powerful and I think that it was just it just made me nauseous I will say I wasn't pregnant <laughs> I was not pregnant if you guys don't know I do have two kids and I 
can say that pregnancy does kind of mess with your nose a little bit it just did not work for me I did not like the way it smelled it made me very nauseous and I actually tried it recently at a Macy's I went to and again it's just it's just not for me so my girl lawn just did not work and she had to get decluttered baby she had to go next we have a fragrance from one of my favorite fragrance houses period and that's Rouge Smoking from BDK I absolutely love BDK they can do no wrong in my eyes but they did drop the ball on this fragrance for me this fragrance is probably one of their most hyped up fragrances in their catalog and I don't see the hype because I did not like this fragrance at all it gave me like a root beer cough drop with the cherry background and I did not like it at all people were talking about how it's so gourmand and it's sweet and it's fruity and it has a little bit of a sex appeal from it from some tonka beans i'm like yes 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 but it did not work out for me it did not work out for me i much prefer velvet tonka with that like cherry tonka bean-esque type of vibe but root smoking no 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 oh i did not like that fragrance at all <laughs> And I don't think I've said that on my channel. Now the performance was on point. Everything about it was great. The performance was actually really, really good, but it was not good on my skin, y'all. Oh, it was not good. Next, we have a Poudre. This was a fragrance that I wanted to love so bad. I kept in my collection for so long, but I went ahead and just got rid of it because I wasn't reaching for it. And it also did that dirty, musky, animalic type of thing that some musks do on me. Not only was this fragrance powdery, but it did have a little bit of sweetness, which I did like. So I could do powdery sweet, I could do powdery gourmand, but I cannot do powdery musky floral. Like, mm, it has to have some sweetness to it. This fragrance in particular had the sweetness. It had all, it ticked all the boxes besides the musk on me just smelled dirty. It smelled very weird. Like it had this kind of like bad breath type of smell, but it wasn't necessarily bad breath. It just had this just weird scent to it. I cannot describe it, but it just did something in a more animalic way. So I would say probably that musk was an animalic musk. The musks that I prefer are like fresh musks, like fresh as in, you know, you feel like you just took a shower, more refreshing, more uplifting. Those more sensual, sexier, dirtier, animalic musks just don't really work for me for whatever reason. And I really wish they did because so many people talk highly about Valentino's Poudre. Well, a couple years ago. <laughs> I feel like I'm like on the old side of YouTube because a lot of the fragrances that we like hyped up or people hyped up a couple of years ago we really don't hear about now which is fine that's just how things evolve this was a fragrance that was really hyped up and a lot of people wanted to get their hands on it and when I got my hands on it I was super excited but it just didn't work out for me so I had to let it go and yeah I just realized that those dirtier animalic musks just don't work for me unfortunately I'm gonna go ahead and say that this next fragrance was one that was really hard for me to give up because now that I think about it, I actually really think I would love it now. I think back then I was kind of iffy about it and if I was iffy about something, I just let it go. And this fragrance is one that's discontinued. You can't really find it like that. And if you can't find it, they done jacked up the price, honey. And that's Lipstick On from Maison Margiela. I decluttered that fragrance, but I actually feel like I really would enjoy it right now because those powdery, lipsticky, fruity type of scents are actually kind of interesting to me now. And it kind of gives off like Marilyn Monroe vibes. It kind of just gives this vibe, right? And I don't know. I think I, that might be one that I regret. And we can do a video about the decluttered fragrances that I regret, like I want back into my collection because I have a few regrets and I'm probably going to repurchase a few fragrances to bring them back. This is one that I might bring back if I can find it and if I can find it for, you know, not an astronomical price. But this fragrance is just like it sounds. It's like a lipsticky, fruity, powdery fragrance. It smells like old school lipstick, which again, it's like a vibe. It's not something you can do all the time, but it's a nice vibe to have when you have it. And I like to wear fragrances for myself. And my wife works nights, so sometimes I just wear fragrances that she doesn't like when she's not around because she's very sensitive to smells. But yeah, I just, oh! I really miss that fragrance and I have broken up with that one but I think that's one that I'm gonna you know call back and be like hey big head <laughs> and last but certainly not least 
We have a fragrance that I haven't heard about lately, but again, this was one that was kind of hyped up a couple years ago. And I feel like this fragrance is one that, I don't know, I think I also would like, but I prefer another fragrance over this one. So it's Classique Essence from Jean-Paul Gaultier, Scandal by Night. Love that scent. I think that one's discontinued and I need a backup bottle because mine's almost gone. Absolutely love that scent. And I really like the original, but I got rid of it because that was one that I was kind of on the fence about so I guess we could talk about Classic Essence and Scandal, the original Eau de Parfum, because both of them were the same thing. Like, I liked them, but I didn't love them, and I was kind of like, eh, since I don't love them, I'm just gonna get rid of them. And Classic Essence is more of your orange blossom, you know, sweet, vanillic scent. So you have your floral touches and your, you know, your vanillic touches, and then you have Scandal, which is your honey fragrance. It's honey, it's a little bit of floral, you know, you get a little bit of a woody quality in there as well. So they're really pretty scents, but nothing too crazy nothing too crazy and that's something that I don't know like I feel like those two fragrances in particular I wouldn't mind having back in my collection but I actually prefer Saffinade from Parfums de Marly for that more orange blossom you know vanillic touch also Benevolence from House of Siage is pretty dope as well so those give like similar vibes all three of those so if you have one of those you don't really need the others and yeah so I broke up with those two <laughs> So technically, I gave you guys two and one from the same house, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I was at a point in my life a couple of years ago where I was just like, mm, if I don't love it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And that's kind of where I'm at now. It's like, if I don't love a fragrance, if I like it, it's not enough for me. <laughs> so I feel like that might be the range, you know, that I'm in now because there's so many fragrances out there. There's so many houses out there, so many new houses, so many new fragrances, so many new experiences that I feel like some of the fragrances that are just okay or that you just like or you really don't gravitate towards, they can go somewhere else and be used, you know? They can be utilized more than you're utilizing them. So that's why some of these fragrances that I've decluttered or broken up with are kind of like regrets. Some things just don't work out and sometimes your taste changes and, and that's okay. And that's kind of where I'm at in my life, you know? So that's all I have for you guys today. If you are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me until the end or whatnot. And for today's video, please leave me the crying emoji. So I know you guys made it until the end because breakups are hard, baby. And these were hard. Some were easier than others. Some are regrets, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you all in the next one.